So to test this fan-requested tall tale of gummy bear-powered propulsion, let's get things rolling with our resident rocket scientist. Since we will be building rockets all episode long, we thought it was important to start by defining our terms. We're going to use a solid rocket motor like this. It may not look like that much, but it's actually a very carefully prepared mixture of fuel, oxidizer, and a binder to hold it all together. Now, it's nice and simple because, in theory, all you do is light it and off it goes. We're going to make our own version of it using gummy bears as fuel along with the same oxidizer and binder. Producing fuel grains like this is not only time consuming and difficult, but you need a special license, which neither Jamie nor I possess. So what we're going to do here is to turn these gummies into a powder. There we go. And then send them off to a specialist who will produce for us fuel grains that look like this. The specialists require the fuel as a fine dry powder. Three, two, one. And to convert the gummies, Adam has hit upon a technique that doesn't involve large quantities of lethal lava-like syrup. Seems like it's working spectacularly. OK, I'm going to use a coffee grinder to uh, make them even more powdery. Dude, look at that. That is a super fine powder that used to be gummy bears. That's exactly what our rocketeers want. Time to make a whole bunch more. Last time we saw the sweet and sour fuel, they were powderized and sent off to the rocket scientists. And here is what they did with them. They turned them into two official rocket motors. Yep, they've been converted into solid rocket propellant. It looks like this. Basically, it's composed of an oxidizer and the fuel, which is held in place by a binder made up of a variety of rubber resins. Now, when that starts to burn, all those expanding gases are forced out through the rocket nozzle. That accelerates those gases, creating a lot of thrust, and up the rocket goes. It's been one of the most technically challenging experiments in Mythbusters history. But this is it. The gummy bears are good to go. You know, Jamie, not many people know this, but uh, gummy bears are actually the poop of baby unicorns. Really? Yeah. No one's ever gotten close enough to figure out how their sphincter makes that bear shape, but uh, a little note back. The key point of comparison for the energy and efficiency of the propellant will be the maximum altitude attained. All right, so this is it. You ready? Are you ready? I'm totally ready. Let's gummy the sky open. Conventional propellant launched this eight-foot rocket with 50-pound payload to 4,491 feet. How will the gummies go? Gummy bear rocket yeah. in three, two, one. There, there it goes. goes. We have ignition. Ah! <laughs> oh, it went way up there. It did. <laughs> Gummy bears worked. Yep, they did. Give me some right there. Boom. It's been a long and frustrating journey, but that one successful launch has made it all worthwhile.